This is the last uh, presentation for the session. It's on OP number five. It's on EEG patterns during mindfulness meditation. The authors are Mara Singh MGCP, Tenna Kon V, Mahavitanage STC. The presenting author is Mara Singh MGCP. Good afternoon, Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, EEG patterns during mindfulness meditation. So mindfulness, sati, means the attitude and practice of bare attention in a purely receptive state of mind. Recently, there have been wide scientific interest on mindfulness. According to Buddhist teaching, mindfulness practice is the only way to attain Nibbana or enlightenment. We know meditation changes brain neuronal activity and EEG changes during meditation including mindfulness can be measured. However, up to now, we do not find literature on EEG patterns among Buddhist monks who are practicing true mindfulness meditation technique called Vipassana meditation. The objective of this study was to identify EEG patterns of forest monastery based Buddhist monks who are practicing mindfulness meditation. Therefore, we recruited 18 full time meditating Buddhist monks from Mithirigala Nisaranavanaya, which is a, a popular famous forest monastery in Sri Lanka. The instrument that we used to obtain digital EEG recording was NeuroVirtual Brainwave 3 unit. 14 scalp surface electrodes were placed, you can see in the picture, uh, according to the international system. So we obtained continuous EEG recording when these experienced monks, while they are practicing mindfulness meditation over a period of 40 minutes. Analysis was done using standardized low resolution brain electromagnetic tomography, it's called S. Loreta, which is widely used to analyze EEG data for medical research purposes. To your left hand side, you can see a screenshot of an EEG recording that we have done. So those EEG recordings were fed into S. Loreta and S. Loreta analyzes the current densities as well as it creates nice 3D brain maps. Results, ladies and gentlemen. The mean participant age was 41 years. And the average duration of full-time meditation of these monks was 6.4 years. The first important finding that we found was high theta and gamma 1 power or current density at the 40th minute, that's the end of the meditation as compared to the beginning, the first minute of meditation. So the bottom two uh, graphs are the graphical showing of uh, the current frequency or the EEG frequency. The left hand side is the theta peak and the right hand side is gamma 1 peak. So this theta and gamma power augmentation were observed at the frontal and prefrontal brain areas. More specifically, the best match area was Broadman area 9. This shows these Esslorata 3D brain maps. The theta one is on the left hand side. You can see it's coming from the both sides, but frontal, mainly the frontal and prefrontal areas. And similar uh, brain area of activation of gamma 1 scene that is shown in the right hand side pictures. Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusions of this study was there was a significant increase in theta and gamma power during mindfulness meditation. My theta is uh, known to associate it with cognitive control, mental effect and relaxation and gamma 
is associated with heightened awareness. Theta and gamma activation was seen in Boardman area 9. That area is known to associate with sustained attention and working memory. Collectively, we conclude that the cultivation of mindfulness practice may help to develop awakened mind with attentive calmness. My references, and I would like to thank with great respect to Most Venerable Udairi Agama Dhammajiva Mahathero, the head priest of Mitrikal Nisaranavane, for granting us permission as well as actively helping us to get EEG records. Also, most Venerable Panadure Chandradhan Mahathero and all participating monks and University of Sri Jadhanapura for the research grant. Finally, Sri Lankan Medical Association for this opportunity. Thank you. of certain waves yeah. during any other like uh, things people enjoy like listening to music or reading books they enjoy or any any other instances where similar changes can be seen? a lot I mean uh, may, may not be similar but somewhat similar because especially with uh, the theta the especially on music because there have been a lot of research done on EEG when people are listening to various types of music so I can't specifically tell you what, what music pattern but they have seen theta activation during music listening they want to sleep, no? Sorry? They want to sleep, no? Because uh, you see a lot of... Uh, that's that's the main problem. It's, it's, a, it's a very valid, uh, yeah, very valid because point. Because we see in clinical practice, because I'm a neurologist, is when we see a theta pattern which is functionally do dominant, uh, we, that is often seen with drowsiness. And that is the commonest cause of uh, theta activity. Uh, so if you ask a clinician and you give that EEG, we will say that the patient is probably Asleep. Of course, I mean it's a very valid point. Yeah, theta we in a normal person, the theta we see in EEG. I mean, when we are falling asleep, not deep sleep, deep sleep will no, be delta drowsiness exactly. So that's the main limitation of world um, literature because the most of these uh, experiments elsewhere had taken uh, lay people who are may not be non-experienced. So that's why we went for the experts because we don't expect hard to say. But uh, the, these experienced monks are sort of falling asleep with 40 minutes meditation. Because uh, one thing that we offered them was we asked them to select the best time of their meditation. So they selected the best time of the day that, then, that can offer us a best session of 40 minutes meditation. So we assumed that they were not on sleep. So did you check whether they were asleep? No, unfortunately, because 40 minutes were not disturbed. Because they were asked to meditate from the beginning to the end. Then we slowly tell them the time is up so but uh, we didn't ex we didn't sort of observe that they're waking up from sleep no. because it's we don't know we the don't know the scientific thing is to actually observe them whether they were sleeping because that is a limiting factor yeah uh, so you're you're attributing your mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i understand okay. yeah. i see that it's a very interesting topic but i would like to thank all the presenters who have kept the time and the judges also for coming and uh, doing the helping us out and thank you very much we have to go for the next session and if you have any questions you can ask the presenters now go out and ask